I'm not sure what you know about the HPV vaccine. Does anyone remember anything about it? Did they get given it in secondary school? Yeah. 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 So 12 to 13 year olds, yeah. It prevents cancer in the long run though, isn't it? Yeah, so HPV mm -hmm. stands for, it's a long name, it's human papilloma virus. It's a common virus that is spread through contact. It can be spread through sexual contact as well. Some types of the virus can actually um, predispose people to cancers, particularly cervical cancer. And the whole aim of giving the vaccine um, to young people is such that we're able to give it to them before they become sexually active. There's the effectiveness as well from sort of cervical cancer and some protection from that in the long run. Again, it's the usual side effects, very minimal sort of achiness um, where, you know, the vaccine's been given, um, a bit of redness, swelling, you know, a bit of sort of feeling under the weather, but that's all just temporary. I don't remember receiving it as a youngster. Me neither. I was going to say the same thing. It's relatively new compared to obviously the childhood yeah. vaccines. What's, is there an impact? Have you seen an impact in introducing it with younger people? There is a, a phase of the clinical trial where they check the effect of the vaccine, so the effectiveness of the vaccine. So we know from those studies, that have been done, that the HPV vaccine is effective in terms of cancer, cancer rates and things like that. If you are contacted by school, please can you give your consent for your young person, for your child to actually have this vaccine because it can save lives. The HPV vaccine can help prevent certain cancers caused by the human papilloma virus. You can talk to your GP if you have any concerns. We are here to give you the information you need to make the right decision for you and your family. Find out more on our website or speak to your GP.